everybody and welcome to the gaming podcast episode number seven how are you duncan i'm all good thank you very much good to see you how's your week been since we are last uh, caught up uh well still been well i won't probably talk about it as much but uh still been playing Baldur's gate th- three a lot uh <laughs> but no busy 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 uh because it's a uh, summer holidays here and the family are all off so yeah I'm all good. How's life? Life is, uh, yeah, good for me as well. Um, probably haven't been as gaming as much. You have gamed a little bit this week, though, so um, have a bit more to add to the discussion. I've decided, as uh, I feel like at the moment, I can't really dedicate my time to really big games, the games that are going to take me, you know, 100 plus hours. So I'm looking at more shorter games. So um, I, I've just looked at um well i've started captain toad's treasure i'm gonna have to remember what his name is now captain toads so it's on the wii u um oh, okay oh, and it's so like a, a bit of retro to- it's funny, toad, funny to refer it as yeah. retro but uh but yes I suppose yeah it's um... on the switch as well so it's uh it's oh, okay it's, yeah so they re-released it on the on the switch but it's like a puzzle game but you'll you're toad Essentially, you're like on a, a cube. So, um, and then there's you need to collect things on that cube, and you can't jump. You can only move him sort of forward, backwards, and then you can like switch the camera around as a so to get around like obstacles and stuff like that. So sometimes you can't really see, so you've got to switch the camera around, and then you've got to like click on switches to make things sort of. Move. So yeah, it's sort of just trying to get and there's. There is like a time limit as well, so you've got to ensure that you do it in time. Um, sometimes you can just go and get the star and finish it, but then there's like other things you can get as well if you want to collect everything on there. So it's you know it's up to you how much you got on there. So I've done a, a little bit of that. I don't think it's going to be too long of a game. By the looks have of it, have but, you ever, um, it sounds a bit like Fez, that kind of thing. Maybe have you ever played never that? Played Fez. No, I've ne- I heard. Obviously, heard of it. So. I mean, Fez was a quite a complex game, so it maybe sounds like a simpler version of Fez. But I, it, Fez was, yeah, you had a two D uh, world, but you could yeah. spin it round. So yeah. one thing that appears on one side doesn't appear on another, and you could go through a door, and you're in a completely different world. And um, yeah, so yeah, ah. yeah, so it, it does sound like that. It was initially, um, so it was on Super Mario 3D World which is Super Mario on Wii U. So there was like an extra side bit on there where you could jump in this bit and Toad would appear and then you could you'd do these I... levels to get stars. And then Yes, yeah, so I've played this. I've, I've played these levels on Super Mario 3D Land, I want to say, on the Switch. Probably if it's on the Switch, that'd be 3D World, I think. 3D World, yeah. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I think I've played them. Are oh, they... Great little puzzles, yes. Yeah, so uh, see, people must have enjoyed it enough that they brought out a. a whole oh game no, I get it. it, Captain Toad, as in Toad from Mario. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was being a bit track. dense there. Yes. <laughs> so, oh no, yeah, I, yeah I, I like that. That's a great little puzzle. I presume, is, uh, yeah, being, being a Nintendo game, is it uh, is it available at a reasonable price? Yeah, so it's not too bad actually for an intended gig. So um, I just bought it from eBay. I bought it like quite a while ago. Um, actually, I say I bought it from eBay. I think I bought it from Sex C C E X. For people who aren't from the UK, they're probably thinking that I said something else. Um, but yes, C E X is like our version of GameStop in in America, where people yeah. can trade in games and buy pre-owned games. Which, when I was younger everyone used to do that but it's not like uh used to go into like game or game station or whatever game or local game shop boutique. That was. yeah yeah i remember yeah electronic boutique taking your old games get some new games but see now with everything being more digital not like one of the the things that you don't seem to get anymore but i do like to try and get physical games where i i can because uh like i yes. bought diablo 4 physically. yeah I, I remember you'd, you'd build up a, a a library of games and then there'd be one that you'd really want and suddenly you'd go from i don't know 20 games to about six 
because yeah, he had to yeah. trade in about five games to get the one brand yeah, new to get one. The value, yeah. I remember <laughs> like myself and my friend because we used to. I say you. Uh, so when I was younger, I think I've mentioned it before, but I, yeah, I lived in a village in in Somerset, which the nearest town wasn't that far away, but if our parents wasn't going there, it was quite hard, difficult to get into there because you couldn't really walk there or anything. So. Um, when we did go in there, we used to like every now and then we'd build up a load of games and we'd like come in with rucksacks on and be like going to our local game shop. So, yeah, the game store was called MT Game It Show, still there, it's been there for like 20 plus years. They sell oh, nice. pretty much everything in there, they, yeah. Um, but yeah, you go there and then yeah, you would have to trade in like about five games to get one game, but. It was uh, if you weren't playing them anymore, then you get the excitement. I remember like Game Station used to do uh, a deal two for twenty. Remember we used to always do that and uh, split, so we'd like pay a tenner each and get like see what was in there, whatever. Yeah, but, so yeah. In, in this country, even I mean the the biggest game shop, like solely gaming shop, is no longer really a gaming shop. They're sort of transferring to uh, like the geek culture um, games and plushies and collectibles so game isn't really a game shop ever they do yeah, sell I games have, but, uh, i don't even have a game where i live now um it's in the well i do it's in the back of sports direct so i don't know if sports direct have bought game uh, or whatever because mike yeah, ashley spreading his um, billions i think potentially yeah i mean i don't know if you could yeah at the back of sports direct that's like a uh a game so i don't know why that that is but um I'm really uh yeah game by sports direct yeah there you go so it looks like sports direct has uh, then, then again it was, probably, it was probably bought for, for like one pound 60 in a pack of polos though nowadays <laughs> yeah it's, it's, it's not exactly the you know the yeah probably hundreds of millions what value that it used to have in the 90s and 2000s uh no. yeah I guess when everything's uh, digital now, it's uh, half for game shops, and also you got the supermarkets that sell the games as well, don't you? So uh, even that, I think I heard uh, in, in this country, Tesco's uh, are stopping uh, having uh, having physical games in all their stores now. So then they're no longer going to have any physical games. You'll still be able to buy, you know, PlayStation credit and whatnot. But, no, they won't have games at all. Uh, I guess, yeah, I mean, I can't remember the last time I brought a game from a supermarket, so it probably makes sense. Um, But, yeah, I mean, I like to, when I'm in a supermarket, always go and have a look. But it's not like it used to be in terms uh, of... uh, It's all all because of people like me who are too lazy to get up and change a disc. It is, yeah. I do like, I still like going to sex just because... Of the retro side of things, so I like to have a look at like sort of like the old game and stuff. Yeah, they they're, they're more like they're a technology poor broker, really, aren't they? They are. Um, yeah, I mean, they don't in just this do country. Games, they? Not, um... Yeah, they do hardware. I mean, uh, although I saw, I, I don't know, it's, I think it was in the US, and they do a similar thing to what this person was saying about how uh, they were selling Steam decks for more than Valve are selling them. And I know um, they do yeah, do some CX, things like that. Yeah, CX initially were uh, selling PS5s more than they were if you could buy them. Oh, when yeah, there was they were feeding the, the scalpers, that's for sure. Because... When people couldn't yeah. get PS5s right when they launched, um, they were selling them more than if you could, if you uh, than they were if you could get one new. But obviously, the issue was yeah. that you couldn't get one new, so some people you would go yeah, to CX. I, but... I had. Um... The Xbox Series X from launch date, and I could have easily sold it for eight, nine hundred pounds. Um, and obviously, the the Xbox sort of quieted down a bit quite sooner, didn't it? But uh, yeah, the PlayStation for probably at least a year, year and a half. It was very difficult to to get one. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got the my I got the Series S just because it was the the easiest one. To get hold of um and i had that for a little bit and then i went to the series x then i got a game of pc and then i now on the playstation 5 but yeah we're not not 
I mean, I, I like the Ever Repair one, so it wasn't like I was just trying, waiting for the PS5. It just happened to work like that. But <laughs> it was, uh, I, if I wanted a PS5 at launch, I, if I had to have been very lucky or had to pay sort of against the odds, which I refused to do. Like my friend did it. He went and bought one off Facebook. And I was like, I just wouldn't do it through principle. Because you know, that one that yeah. person has just bought it because they want to sell it. I'm oh, I'm totally with you. Yeah, okay. I, I, if I hadn't okay. managed to get one, which I sat there with about ten, fifteen uh, tabs open on my browser, refreshing every single one, trying to add add an X, Xbox to the cart in Amazon in game. I think there was about five retailers that were doing it, and I was refreshing, add to basket, no crashing, uh, refreshing, crash and. It took me about an hour and a half, and I think it eventually I, I got one um, locked in um, before they they closed down the pre-orders. Uh, but I got mine from Amazon in the end. Um, although on the day I got an email on the launch day saying, "Oh, yours has been delayed by a day," so I contacted them and said, uh, 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 "No, no, 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 no! <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for a long time," and uh, and they went, uh, uh, "All right then." Okay, you'll get one today. Uh, so, so yes, I did get one on launch date, and yeah, so, yeah. Very, I mean, very happy since. <laughs> fair enough. I mean, I can see the temptation. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but I could see if you had a PS5 or Series X, and you could see oh, I could sell that for a thousand pound. There would be that bit of temptation, wouldn't it? Yeah. Be like, well, have the five hundred pound profit, and then go back to get one when they're available, and but. Yeah, you you are, the, you are just taking it off someone. Who, yeah, I mean, with the yeah, Steam Deck, um, I got it in May, so I I pre-ordered it from the day it was the pre-orders available, and I got mine in May, and I think it was from October 2022. They were freely available from Valve without a wait. So, if I wanted, I bought mine for four five nine four hundred fifty nine pounds, and I could have sold it for eight hundred pounds. No problem. Um, and again, I didn't. I, I, if I'd known in advance, that extra almost £400 would have been tempting. Would have been tempting. But I, I loved it so much. I was. Yeah. <laughs> My wife tried to get me to sell it on, but I was like, no, 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 it'd be too much hassle. You know, I might not sell it for that much. And I knew full well I could have got it for quite a lot. And. Yeah, with hindsight, yeah, I might have been without one for a year. I might have been out of one for two weeks. I didn't know, so so I was like, no, no, I'm not selling. Um, I, I don't think I've ever scalped. No, I don't, I don't yeah. think with anything. I had a PS2 on launch date, but unfortunately I had one where the DVD laser didn't work. So all the DVDs were green. Um, so I had to return that, and we got another one, and that one didn't work. Um, so... Yeah, so I've, no, I've never sold anything for more than it's no. worth. I can't remember anything becoming like it being a thing and since the last set of consoles. So I don't know. I mean, it might have been a thing, but back when like PS4s were launched and stuff like that, I guess PS3s as well. But then if you probably go back further than that, it's probably like the internet probably is like a driving force of that, isn't it? In terms of people having a platform to to sell it on um but i know there was like the issue with the micro ship or something wasn't it which way the why they couldn't keep mm. up with the demand yeah the playstation point. 3 had the cell processor which was um they had their own bespoke one which made it very hard for yeah, developers to develop for it and whatnot it was very powerful but it was also very um it was a yeah, very bespoke play, uh, Sony chip. Um, yeah, and I, I, think, I think the PlayStation 2 was scalped a little bit, but obviously you didn't have the internet wasn't so prevalent there. It was more you went into a shop and you bought one. Um, uh, so, so, yeah, it's only really been since sort of PS4 onwards, which obviously the Wii, the Wii was uh, scalped quite a lot. Uh, the original Wii. I remember there was you could go on a waiting list in a shop, but there was wait 
people saying in I remember going into our local game station, I think it was, me and a friend, and we had hundred and fifty pound each, I think, something like that. And we said, Oh, we, we want to buy a Wii. And they were like, Yeah, okay, we'll put your name down. Uh, this was, I don't know, the beginning of 2007 or something. And they said, Oh, yeah, yeah, you can have one mm, about August. Is that all right? We're like, No, <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, and Xbox 360 was just sitting there. And we were like, All right, we'll have a 360. Um, it was my flatmate at the time, me and him shared, shared a. Uh, she had a 360 for a few years. <laughs> ah, I'd probably, uh, personally, I'd probably a 360 over a Wii. But, um, I know in, in hindsight, was it, was, it was a better choice, yes. Um, we, we got a Wii about a year later, or well, my friend did, and, yeah, we, we played it for a bit, and if we were having a few drinks. But other than that, it gathered dust, really. Um, yeah, so... Xbox, the Xbox 360 was a better one, better idea, definitely. Anyway, Duncan, have you? Uh, so you've been playing Baldur's Gate? Yes, yes. Um, new well, game on Game Pass. On Game can't... Pass, there's Age of Empires 4 has come out on console. I haven't actually had a chance to play it yet. Uh, in fact, I've never actually played Age of. It's the only Age of Empires I've never played because um, since it's come out, I haven't had a PC really well enough to play it so so i'll be in, excited to play it because I, I love the age of empire games i think i think you're with me there aren't you and yeah. uh age of empires 3 was not it didn't grab me as much as two um obviously two is an all-time classic uh yeah. but so yeah I'm, I'm excited to try age of empires 4 to see what it's like um see if it brings back the the memories of Age of Empire 2, which of course came out on Game Pass three months ago, I want to say, um, two or three months ago, and would worked very well on on console with controller controls. So yeah, I've got high hopes for it. Um, yeah, I I did like uh, Age of Empire 2. It's the the first, and in my opinion, that my favourite Age of Empire that I played. Um, I had it sort of back in. I think it came out in the maybe the late 90s, might be the early 2000s, but I did have it on like a, yeah, on a PC, sort of like a really old PC, but it, yeah, worked fine. I uh, obviously build your armies, wouldn't you? And uh, well, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, know what, what you would do on, on on Age of Empires, but it's just a, a strategy game, isn't it? Well, it came out there, late 90s, September 27th, 1999. The original Age of Empires yeah. 2 came out. Um, but yeah, it, I, I used to say with a lot of games I have nowadays, I had two saves. One that was an actual one that where I played properly and another one where uh, it was quite easy to cheat because you just had to type various things into the chat. And you used to be able to, used to, be able to get a, uh, what was it, like a, a Dodge, no, a Shelby Cobra uh, that could shoot... Uh, shoot guns or something so you could just all you had to do was type the code in the chat uh, yeah. do control a to copy it or to select it all control c and then just keep enter enter control v enter enter control v enter enter control v enter enter control and just keep going like that for about about a minute and you'd end up with probably 40 or 50 of these cobras driving around <laughs> <laughs> fighting knights and uh and destroying yeah. castles uh so it's great fun but yeah i i, I wasn't very good at these games i enjoyed them but i wasn't very good yeah i mean i i think i i enjoyed about at that time i was or it'll be like 10 or whatever so i was quite young so my patience was uh wasn't the greatest i think you needed a bit of patience <laughs> but i didn't know you could could cheat on on the age of empire I, so I remember you could do it on the Sims, so the original Sims. You could, I think it was Control and A or whatever. Again, bring up a little text box, and then you could put in. I think it was like Rosebud was the cheat. Yeah, there was, was Rosebud, and then eventually mother, there was Motherload. Eventually, wasn't there that they found that it was ten thousand? Um, I think but again, was, again, yeah, you could do Control and C, and just copy, 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 copy. Because I think the amount of times that you typed it into the 
chat was the amount of times that you got the money. So yeah, you could type in Rosebud space, copy it all, and then just do control C, control C, control C, get control V, control V, control V, control V, and then get yeah, build your own dream house, couldn't you? And uh, and you didn't have to bother sending them off to work or anything like that. You could just get them to learn all the skills and have parties and it's great fun. <laughs> yeah, though when I was on on Sims, I was a lot more uh, a bit more morbid than that. I remember my <laughs> did my, you, my, my did you make some swimming pools and take the uh, take the steps did. away? <laughs> yeah, put them in room, take the doors away. I remember my start my stuff, my friend. This was this would have been the first Sims. So again, I think this was going to be the late nineties. But my friend, he had a PC. Um, he had some terrible games on it, but. His sister had The Sims on it, and we were sort of on it one day, and we were like ran out of games to play. I think he had like a, a football game on it as well, which we were playing. But it sort of uh, we ran out. Uh, it didn't take long for us to sort of get bored of it, so we were like, oh, let's try the Sims game. Went on it, and his sister had like built a town, and uh, she obviously put a lot of time and effort into this town. Um, oh God, I can see all what's the coming. little people were like there, and they all had their little jobs and stuff. And then we just built this one bloke on there. We called—I think we called him Frank or something like that. And uh, we picked. So I'm sure there was like because it was like back then there was just generic heads, weren't there? And there weren't that many to choose from. There was this one yeah. guy who had like a blondy brown beard and like a browny blonde hair to go on it. And we were like, they've made a guy look like a serial killer. So that's what he'll be. <laughs> so we built him a house and uh, we did the cheat. So it made it quick. Invited all her like people around. And then we just put them in a room, took away the door. And then we just had like... They were all there, you know, yeah. They were obviously in the end. They were like passing away. They were all there, like crying because they wanted to go to the loo. <laughs> and then she came back on our game, and yeah, would have found all her like the town that she'd created was just gone. You just serial there. killer! The only person <laughs> was left was Frank. <laughs> Stood there looking at him like. <clears throat> done. I remember I used to, because obviously death would come, wouldn't they? The Grim Reaper. And I, I'd always try and trap the Grim Reaper, but you never could. And the firemen as well, the fire, you would try and trap the firemen, but they would always like escape, the, wouldn't they? And the burglar. Them, right? Yeah, they would just like <laughs> somehow like just go through all. But, you know, I didn't I ever. We've, we've I always done thought, it. Like, yeah, I always thought, why didn't they just. I mean, I've been in swimming pools before and I can get out of the swimming pool if there wasn't a. Uh, Stairs on that. So I don't know why why Sims can't do it. But, uh, Video game logic. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's uh, something within the game which means that they they can only do it through. through yeah, that. But, good but, yeah, times. That good was, times. Yeah, no, I, I liked the original <laughs> Sims, and then the Sims Two. They just sort of made it. Yeah, they made it a lot, a lot better, and a lot. Yeah, it was a brilliant game, and I think they've over, only expanded it more till now. It's Oh, it's a free to play game now. Uh, so yeah. yeah, if you wish. I mean, to the last time I saw people. it was Sims Four. I don't know if they've done anything beyond Sim before. Is it still uh, Sims they, 4? I think so they are fun. making a Sims Five, but that was years it's, ago. It'll be a Sim. It'll, it's just going to be another free to play update, really. Um, the Sims Four base game, though. Now, if you want to play that, it is free. I think on pretty much every device available windows sony xbox etc etc so yeah yeah um, but i don't only... think i don't think you can kill them in a swim pool now probably are many know. ways how you can kill them like yeah taking doors off off rooms and whatnot well, not that i mean um yeah or just manually keeping them away from the toilet delete a toilet so they wet themselves constantly yeah i um, mean like my partner that was the only i mean she doesn't like video games but that's like one of the only video games that she ever liked was the sims and i remember she doesn't really play it at all now but when i first started uh she used to play it sort of pretty much every day and if she wanted um she wanted to get rid of her character and she was like oh how would i she used to like get them to cook or something without them learning how to cook, and they would always set <laughs> yeah. fire to their house. Cook, keep cooking, keep cooking, keep cooking, keep cooking until yeah. the fire starts. 
And then just and then I remember scum, yeah, what, scum there. <laughs> one character, yeah. She she used to create storylines and stuff. So yeah, she had one character and his partner cheated on him and he became all depressed and then he stopped eating. Yeah, and then he, he passed away as a result. So uh Oh dear, a bit dark. You, you would tell me about all the different storylines and stuff. And, yeah, it was that. Uh, so watching the episodes of EastEnders. But one that yeah. you can control them yourself. Ooh, scary. I guess if any of our, <laughs> our viewers or whatever have any sim stories to tell us, then uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've seen comment sections and Reddit before about people's sim stories, and they're a lot more worse than what I've gone through there. Like, oh yeah, it's, like, it's it it can either be a life simulator where you experience life, you know, in a video game, or it can be a torture simulator where you just belittle and murder people basically <laughs> yeah and i because i know like there's always like conspiracy theories that we're in a computer game aren't we that we just mm. it's so realistic we don't even know that we're in a computer game and i hope it, that the Matrix computer game we're in isn't like the sims and someone's there control enough to, because it's on how i've been on the sims and i wouldn't want someone like me controlling me because i'll be well, yeah, if if my life is a game of The Sims, then I've got a pretty twisted uh, player controlling me. That's for sure, with a sick sense of humour. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always, yeah. yeah. I always think, well, if they were, must be for me anyway. Must be like a the standard video game because I don't really do much excitement stuff. But I guess I was, uh, if it I is was like trying to Matrix, explain to my. Um, my stepson uh, about the the matrix and the fact that we we're all in a yeah we could all be in a in some kind of simulation, uh, simulation yeah. Uh, yeah that but he didn't quite get it so he's thirteen so mm, probably probably time for watching the matrix I think uh, he love he loves a bit of science fiction and and stuff and a bit of action so yeah we're getting him into that. Yeah. Um, I've, I've said that to my uh, partner as well. She she refuses to believe that, that we're we're in a simulation. I'm like, well, I was like Elon Musk. He, maybe uh, maybe so. we're in something. She's in something like the Truman Show, uh, where it's not a simulation, but it is a TV show. Mm. I hope not. I hope people don't see what I get up to. <laughs> I really. <laughs> Truman Show would be a very different film if it was that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What I was doing. Tonight, Martin, <laughs> the uncut version. <laughs> yeah. Bow be, chicka, uh, bow, wow. <laughs> 18. It'd be like the uh, when when you're about to watch a certain program and they have to give you a warning before you, you watch it. Yes. Warning. He's, he's about to watch Great British Bake Off. Martin has a thing for Mary Berry. <laughs> <Contained>. <laughs> Leave, uh, uh, yeah, some we'll def- contains images that some viewers may find disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I, I know, um, last week we briefly, uh, I don't know, or well, we might have, I don't know, if we discussed it through the, I think we did, it might have been out of the podcast or within the podcast, but Game of Thrones. I started watching Game of Thrones after you said last week, Duncan, that you couldn't get into it. Um, I thought I'd just give it a try even i know i'm about 10 years too late um but i've only just got now tv so um well i say just about it for about six months but i've almost watched series i've only i only started watching it a couple of days ago and i've almost done the first series already so um i have enjoyed it not gonna lie but every That's time you're about to watch them i i don't begrudge other people enjoying it you know if you like it brilliant yeah I just, I think I probably bigged it up in my head too much because I'd heard about this show and a fantasy fantasy show, and yeah, I, I thought I'd enjoy it. So yeah, so oh no, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah, my my partner, she hasn't been watched, but she comes in now and then, and she's like, "What's going on?" Like, she asks me like, "Why? Why is?" She's just like, it seems to me that everyone doesn't trust each other, and they all want to like, and they're all sort of backstabbing each other. I'm like, yes, yeah, I, probably... I do know. I, I know a lot of the overriding story um, and some of the characters kind of thing because my my ex that watched it when it was out um, used to watch it, and I'd I'd grab a couple of little snip 
snippets here and there. And my my wife now, uh, she she watched it all, um, enjoyed it, and uh, so yeah, I, I, I realise I'm I'm of the minority, but yeah, no, it's a uh, no. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I mean, when it came out, everyone. Uh, I do feel like I got no one to talk to about it now, though, because I can't really go to my friends who. Yeah, watch, would have watched. Oh, listeners, it. listeners, yeah, if, if you know, if anyone's on Series One us. Game of Thrones, yeah, let me know. We can, uh, we could maybe uh, catch up and have a Game of Thrones catch up. From time to time. Uh, Game of Thrones uh, podcast spin-off. There's <laughs> certain things I know is going to happen as well, which um, I don't know everything, but I know like certain characters die and things like that. Just I, th- I think for one thing I know uh, that you probably already know of is you know nothing, Jon Snow. Have you heard that yeah. before? That's that was a meme, I think. Uh, uh, you, you know nothing, Jon Snow. So Jon Snow knows nothing apparently. I I don't exactly know what it means in the context of the show but, but it was a meme that went around um, there is much, you know. oh well fingers crossed in uh in maybe a month's time or something you'll have watched all eight series i want to say was it eight there or nine eight. yeah eight, eight. Ah. yeah the rate i'm going i'm uh also oh, this time next like a, a series a week at the moment probably a bit oh, more okay. than that yeah okay so a couple so, of months and you'll be done yeah, I can update the podcast each uh, each week of what's happened. But they, uh, I, I won't do. People, people have already watched else. it. Don't will want to speak to you after you finish. So, so you know, chop up, get a chop, jog on, and uh, finish it. And <laughs> yeah, and well, I'm going to watch the series people. finale tomorrow. So uh, series one finale tomorrow. So maybe I can uh, give a little recap of that when we uh, meet up. But. Anyway, so um in terms of gaming as well, um uh, what else have I been playing? I have uh I haven't been playing actually, no, yeah, it's just been Baldur's Gate three. Uh, I've been playing Pikmin two still as well. Um uh, so I'm getting a little bit closer to finishing that. Um but no no I'm still looking forward to Starfield, which there's Not been a big long leak. Somebody I, I presume accidentally has received a constellation edition and leaked at least the first 40 minutes of gameplay and nice. has stated i think in, i just read that they stated in their video that they, they were going to do another video most of their uploads i think have been um had a copyright strike from zenimax so but they're they're widely available if people really want to spoil it for themselves or if you're not going to play the game you fancy looking at what it is it is just a guy recording on his uh on his phone i think so it's nothing particularly good to look at um but yeah it's it's widely available on reddit and other places the guy think the game's any good well i i didn't watch the video because i don't really want to spoil it um okay but I, yeah, you know, I, I think uh, early early players like because apparently there's people playing it at Gamescom uh, this week. So people like IGN have released initial I thoughts of, and it's going to be one that's going to get good reviews. I think very good reviews. Um, the I fact that it's that. Only, it's only coming out for PC and Xbox Series means that unless the series s has struggles with displaying it really nicely i, I think it's a shoe in for high high ratings sure you'll, you'll get and, the sony and this, sony this fan boys oh well apparently there there there's a group that are it. review uh, planning on review bombing it so really grow up um but yeah um it's I, it's the, apparently the scope of the of the game is is immense they they're not they haven't been you know blowing smoke up our backside um apparently it is humongous and achievement lists achievement lists have come out where visiting over 100 planets is one of the achievements so um so you know i think even if it takes, yeah, if it takes five seconds to to go from one planet to another and whatnot, 
that's you know even that's just getting that by very quickly is going to take a while uh, but then if you explore each planet and yeah yeah very much looking forward to that but Baldur's Gate 3 is going to keep me going um, yeah so... I mean I, I don't know I, I know like the, the criticisms of it as like oh Beth had so it'd be buggy and that but if you look at I know Fallout 70 was it 72 I always get the number wrong but 76 the last, 76 the last Fallout wasn't well received but if you look at their other games, like Fallout 4 was secretly yeah, played. Yeah, I mean, Fallout Elders, 76 is, is if, if it was released in the state it is now, I think a lot, uh, you know, it would get good reviews. It's just that it lost so many people, and a lot of it is microtransactions and, and whatnot. But, yeah, I just think, well, what I'm trying to say is that when you look at their work, it's more good yeah. than it's bad. Like Fallout 4, Elder Scrolls, Fallout New Vegas, all these yeah, and the bugs that people are talking about, I mean, there, yes, there has been some bugs here and there that have caused problems, but Baldur's Gate 3 is a really highly rated game, and yet they just released a patch that killed people's saves. Um, they very quickly re- re- removed that patch, but, uh, but yeah, that kills some people lost hours and hours and hours and hours of gameplay because uh, any save that they made was just dead. Um, but like, and uh, also, also a lot came out. <laughs> well, a lot of these Fallout Four bugs and um, and you know and Skyrim bugs and all this kind of thing. Quite often they're quite good because you can also uh, they, they also have bugs which mean you can glitch money or XP, and a lot yes. of those get patched out pretty quickly. So, so if you're like me, what you do is uh, is you find a you find a glitch that gets you loads of money. And save just after you got a load of money, and leave that save. That is your go-to save forever and ever. Because when they patch all the stuff out, um, you've always got a save that's got loads of money, and you don't have to. I mean, bugs have, have been going around. Like, all, um, I remember the there was a bug on Call of Duty Modern Warfare where you could get under the map, <laughs> um, but. It was obvious because there was like this one part. It was, I think, it was only on one of the the maps, and there was like this. It's, it's like this fence, and it was like in the, the fence would then go into the wall, and then like the weather, they were joined up to the corner. You'd have to like run and like sort of duck and sort of jump at the same time, and then you would somehow like glitch under the map. So you'd be there on the map, and you'd just see someone randomly there going. You <laughs> see, knew what they were doing. You had to kill them as quickly as possible because you knew if they got under the map, you were. Well, they yeah, were just going to killing everyone from above. There's but, the um, kind of glitches all. Like, I remember that in Rainbow Six Siege at one point there was an invisibility glitch. So literally, you could be invisible to everybody, and you could just run around, shoot somebody in the face, oh, and, and win. Um, now, granted, I think, I think with things like that. On a lot, especially online games, they generally know when someone's done something like that, um, or they can detect. Um, so yeah, generally those ones are, but yeah, this is yeah, there's going to be bugs in modern games because of the scope of them, and the scope of Starfield means there are going to be bugs, there are going to be you know problems with it that they will patch out bit by bit, and you know, there might be some bugs that aren't that major that yeah might still be there in three years time um if you don't like it don't play it um but yeah if the only ones that really matter the ones that make the game crash uh kill your saves or are you you can't mean you can't finish the game and if you have those yes they need to be done as soon as they're found and they need to release hot fixes or whatever straight away um and yeah but other than that remember, my favorite bug can you remember the one on pokemon red blue yellow where you get like a 99 rare candies if you you have to put your item on a certain list um certain part of your items let me go like the sick from the list and then there was a certain part you could surf up and down and then miss and go would appear who was like this pokemon they had created but it wasn't you shouldn't have been able to see it um so it'd come up and it was all glitchy um but yeah i think if you caught it then it meant that your sixth item was like night you had 99 of them so you'd always do it with rare candy so then you would... <laughs> that was a nice little bug i remember when that came out but yeah that cyberpunk was um yeah the one where i remember because 
see that I liked the game Cyberpunk, but I didn't get any sort of pictures. But I remember my friend had it on the PS4, and uh, uh, yeah, P- PS4 was... and Xbox One were were not great consoles. But I had it on Series X, and from day one, perfectly fine. I I never yeah, had a yeah. single. I'd, I'd literally got it on launch date, but yeah, I could understand people were, and really annoyed with that because it was abysmal on the Xbox One and PS4. Um, yeah, just um, yeah, we were literally chatting about it the the other day, and um, I got up his old messages. So this was back in December 2020, so when it like, initially came out. So I uh, and he was, uh, and you can see the game gradually <laughs> getting worse for him. So this was his first message. I said. I was in a quest which started in a car, but most of most of part no, yeah, I was sorry. I was in a quest which started in a car, but most of parked my car in the way, so ended up with my car on the roof of the other car throughout the journey. My other car <laughs> came off eventually killing a pedestrian <laughs> at the same time. So and the police said, probably like, came out and shot him. I like how unpredictable it is. That was his first sort of glitch. And then he just then he said just had to restart the game due to a floating suitcase that wouldn't let me leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, See that they, uh... it's it, it it's a it's a sense of humour though. He, he sounds like you know, although he was probably a bit annoyed with them, he, he had a sense of humour. And, and, and then and I, I think if yeah, go on. I yeah, so I responded to him, floating suitcases are hard to get past. And then <laughs> I think he. He must have kept went back on the game, and but then the floating two castle was still there. So he said he jumped it, had to take have a run up, take more than that to stop me. Um, <laughs> and, then he, and then he sent a picture of his character, and he met in the underneath. He said, "My guy's head is gone." <laughs> <laughs> and he went retract that last com- uh, comment. Something ain't right. And then he sent a picture, and it's now his guy has now got no torso, so he's just some <laughs> legs. And then he's literally stuck like that. Are you guys having the same issues? We said no. Because um, you you were on the Series S or Series X? Yeah, I was on the Series S. So, uh, um, and then he gave like a, a, a run it. So I've had a suitcase that stopped me from getting out. People calling me at the same time. Fell through the map. My head went missing. Not too bad. So that was his <laughs> summary. Oh, and then my health dropped to zero, and I stayed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and my health dropped to zero, and I stayed alive like I was invincible for a bit. It eventually ran out, and I collapsed and died. And then his last comment was, "Well, I got fifty pound back for Cyberpunk." <laughs> I call that luck. <laughs> they completed the game, so essentially you got a, you know, you got a free game out of it. You just had to go through a lot of glitches and bugs. Which I remember, yeah, I used to laugh. I, yeah, we so, Sony I withdrew it from it. sale, didn't they, for quite a while? Um, even if you had a PS5, you you couldn't get it. Um, yeah, but but yeah, I mean, on Xbox, I had it from day one digitally, and they, they didn't withdraw it from sale. Um, and yeah, it worked fine for me. I completed yeah, it. I, had um, I have I, gone back and played it since. And yes, does it run better? Yeah. But I, 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 those kind of glitches, you know, if, if there was any, I think I may have had um, people in the T pose once. I think I, mean, I had one bug that happened. It was annoying though because it meant I couldn't complete a mission. But I had to. So I, I can't. Well, I think the guy. Again, I don't want to give a spoiler, but he he passes away in the car. That guy. Yes, yes. So I did a mission with him, and then the last bit I had to do was go and talk to him, and I could see him, and he was like, his head was hanging out, like so. Is it still in the building? And he was like halfway in the building and halfway out, so I could see like part of his legs and his head sticking out the wall, <laughs> and I couldn't get to him. And then obviously it meant I couldn't, so I had to restart the game. And but unfortunately, the last checkpoint was quite far, and it was quite a difficult mission as well. So I remember being a little bit annoyed because I was like, I'm gonna have to do all that again now. But that was the only bug, and it was that, yeah. I mean, I, I enjoyed the game as well. And I know they've got like an expansion pack coming out, I don't know if it has, yeah, come Phantoms out, of Liberty, I think. Uh, it's got Idris Elba in it. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's I think it's generally about thirty pounds, so probably thirty dollars kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm tempted. 
I'm tempted, uh, but I probably will wait for it to come out and and be reduced and get it in a uh, in a sale or something. Hey, unless unless CD Projekt Red want to send me a code for Xbox, I mean, because obviously they'll be listening to this right now, you know. So okay. yeah, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be see how influential we are in the gaming world. Indeed. <laughs> they but, be... uh, but they've had a. What else are they? Had? They've had a some PlayStation news at Gamescom, haven't they? About the the handheld thing, PlayStation uh, Portable. Yeah. Yeah, play, well, it's PlayStation Portal, you said, wasn't it? Uh... Uh, yeah, PlayStation Portable, I believe it was called, um, which is essentially, by the looks of it, a, a controller with a screen in the middle, and you can stream on it. Um, I was reading some of the comments to you when I before we came on. They were uh, mainly negative about it. I think it's more to do with the price, because it's priced at like 200 Two, pounds 200 dollars i think um yeah it's, it is it's playstation portal um it's basically yeah i mean as most people have been saying it is just a tablet with a split playstation controller around it so you um, could, i know some people are arguing they could do that with their phones yes it, it does it looks literally like somebody's got a ray a razor kishi which is uh you know a mobile phone holder uh, controller and made it look like a PlayStation and put a phone in the middle. Um, I, th- I think you you made a, a good comment that if if people are, if they'd been able to make this work on the PlayStation Vita, people would have gone absolutely mental for it and would have been brilliant um, in a retro style. Uh, obviously, it would have been lower resolution and it would have been. Um, uh, probably the Wi-Fi probably wouldn't have been good enough, but but yeah, this it just seems pointless. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who this is for. It's, no, because no. if oh, you yeah. want to stream when you're out and about, I don't know because because can you use it on Wi-Fi at somebody else's house but stream from your <laughs> PlayStation? I don't know. I think, no, yeah. Can you play, can what you stream for you your PlayStation? Like the... Yeah, at your I don't know at your parents house or something yeah and it's not you know i don't know i've never tried but like, what happens if you were i'm guessing if you're on, like on a train or something you might be able to yeah if i mean if if you can sit on a train and you've got really good wi-fi on that train and you yeah it, it works very well uh but at the same time i don't think it's i don't think it can dismantle can it um, so you've literally got something which is like awkwardly shaped. Um, it is. It does actually look like a tablet with a split controller in the middle. So it's the the hand the handles of the controller are almost separate. The only bit that's attached to the the screen is the is the like the middle bit of the controller. Um, and yeah, for two hundred dollars and. I think for that much, you can get yourself a, a low-end phone. You know, get a second-hand low-end phone, or you know, get an old, an old Android, a Pixel or something. Get a Razer Kishi, which is, I think, anything from if you know, eighty pounds to hundred and something pounds. Um, I, I'm not sure of the price, but it's around that kind of price. And you can have a phone, and yeah, uh, yeah. You get and, do exactly, on that phone. and do exactly the same thing, and, and yeah, and do Game Pass and have a phone and play all Android games or whatever. So, yeah, no. if the portable is your thing, you could get like a Switch for that price, couldn't you? That's exactly. Well, I mean, for a hundred more dollars, you could probably get. I, th- I think. Well, it's, is it two nine nine or is it three nine nine? I think it might be three nine nine. Get Steam Deck. There you go. If you if you want to get yeah. something portable, get a Switch really or a Steam Deck, and you can do all the things that you want to do because you can stream yeah. PlayStation Five onto um, Steam Deck. I think with Moon. I think I want to say Moonlight. Is it Moonlight? I don't know, but anyway, you can stream play PlayStation Five, and you can stream uh, a PC onto a Steam Deck, and you can emulate, and you can play your Steam games. So get a Steam Deck. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, just reading one of the comments and someone said they were laughing in their Steam Deck. So 
<laughs> that person agrees with you. If you uh, if you have a Steam Deck, or if you were considering on getting that, then actually just get a Steam Deck because you're probably going to be able to play most of the games that you could play on there. Because there's not, I know there are. Well, you, you can stream for your PlayStation but, Five if you want to yeah. sit on the toilet and and have a poo while playing your PlayStation Five. Get a Steam Deck. Um, if you really, you know, I'm, I'm sure it works very well, and I'm sure it's a great piece of kit for what it does. But it's get something that does it and more. You know, if you can yeah. get more for the same price or for a bit more, something that does a lot more, get something that does a lot more. Yeah, um, okay. yeah. So that's our thoughts on the PS Portal. Which so I'm just uh, looking at the time. We are. Uh... So I, yes, I can we just, could move on to what came out yes. on this day. And Come then, on then, what are you? Let's make me feel old. Time. Yeah, so I know um, we had a look at this, and there have been quite a few on this day. So I um, think the the big one has got to be uh, what are your favourite couch co op games, and one of the most popular games of all time came out, is not it? Yeah, Golden Eye. Yeah, Golden Eye. About twenty six years ago. Today, so wow. yeah, so uh, see, we've we mentioned Golden Eye quite a bit on our other po- uh, on our other episodes because it's uh, like you said, it got re- re released on Xbox, yeah, did, yeah, and Switch as well, didn't it? Oh, but, yes, um, yes, I think uh, on the Switch version was uh, I don't know that you could add, they had multiplayer on the Switch, but I don't know there's multiplayer, no, they didn't, yet. I think they didn't have online on the Switch. I think that was the problem. I think Xbox had online and the Switch didn't, I want to say. Maybe I'll go the wrong way around. But... Yeah, I think it was the other way around. Maybe. Uh, okay. Um, because I remember people... Oh, I remember being on like the some of the Facebook fan pages for Xbox. And some of them were you know, upset and then some of them were like, no, it wouldn't be that good online anyway or whatever. So, um... Yeah, well, you can't screen screen the cheat can you in uh online <laughs> so, no, um, no, you can't. so yeah that take away in where people are and seeing what guns they had or whatever so yes nintendo switch online members can now play originally released so yeah that came out 20 26 yeah, years ago i would have been ni- ago. i would have been 19 years old uh, I, so I, th- the, I think I was Nintendo. playing PlayStation One at that point. Yeah, I remember getting the Nintendo sixty four with with Goldeneye um, on the box, at the uh, the flames or whatever, and then uh, so yeah, that was, uh, and then Devil May Cry two. Oh, no, not Devil no, May no, Cry 2, the, the original Devil, Devil May Cry. Yes, yes on, on the on the PlayStation, on PlayStation two. two at twenty two years ago. That's why I was thinking of two because everything else is two. PlayStation Still- two twenty two years ago. I mean, they're, they're they're very repetitious, grindy games, but there's so, there is something fun about the Devil May Cry games, um, and they are always very good looking games. Um, I think yeah, they're the very new, new one's good. The uh, the latest Devil May Devil May Cry. Yeah, was 5. There, there was there was DMC, and then there was Devil May Cry Five, wasn't there? That's the yeah, I think that's the latest one. Which it? again, Devil May yeah. Cry Five runs fantastic on Steam Deck. <laughs> Just, I think Val should be paying me for the amount I advertise the Steam Deck. I think I'm, I'm, I'm various Facebook groups and all sorts. I, I, I keep going on about the Steam Deck and how great it is. I, I, I'm sure that I should be having some kind of advertising revenue coming in soon from you Val. Should. But yeah, you're, you're selling yourself. <laughs> you should dare. Uh... But yeah, Devil May Cry. I think I, I think I may have even had the original Devil May Cry on PlayStation Two. I, I don't think I, I played it, but I don't think I had it. I, I, my friend, I know his little brother was like a really big fan of all the Devil May Cry. So sometimes I'd like play it when I was around there. Um, but yeah, like you said, it's just a little bit repetitious, uh, repetitive. But actually. Um, yeah, they were quite, you know, fun games, weren't they? Which you could, yeah, they were fun, and the fact that they were so you had such massive bosses that you could just, you know, shoot and sword play, uh, yeah. and then you had upgrades that you got from the, all the, I don't know what they were. Were they blood 
blood things or something? I don't know. There were little red orbs that you could absorb that um, I think you could upgrade. I don't know, or don't know whether that came in the future one. But but yeah, it's the Devil May Cry series, it's, it's great fun, but it is it is starting to get a bit, yeah. I think dull, in the newer dull, yeah. <laughs> Devil May Cry, the, the, I think the, the music the new... would change depending on how you uh, were doing. Okay. In the uh, in the fight, yeah, which was uh, I mean it's a little thing, but it was uh, yeah the game's music changes based on the player's performance in combat. Ooh. Yeah, because so, yeah, uh, I, I think I may actually own Devil May Cry Five on on PC because I think I got it in a bundle. So um, I think I, I installed it on the Steam Deck when I first got it just to try and show off the uh, Steam Deck to myself. Um, but no, I've, I haven't never completed it. I don't think. Uh, so no. yeah, give it a give it a go. I know you've got plenty of games to play, but if you do get a uh, chance, I think it might be on PlayStation Plus. I definitely have seen it on there. So uh, uh, yeah, you should have, give it a go too if I you haven't finished it. <laughs> and I think as as well, one of, another one we looked at. If you like the uh, the modern Deus Exes, the Human Revolution, the Mankind Divided. Uh, was it Human Revolution came out 12 years ago and Mankind Divided came out seven years ago? Which I will say to you that I see those as really modern games, and yet the one came out 12 years ago. That's that's quite a long time in gaming. I mean, that's a generation and a half ago, oh, okay. which is scary. Um, yeah, because I think that came uh, out on. I mean, uh, uh, since of the since the the mankind. Well, Hugh, I mean, Hugh Revolution oh, literally yeah. came out on the on the three hundred and sixty. So yeah, I probably did actually. I think that was back in the days when I was part of those one of those rental uh, online rental things. So I think I played it through that. Uh, but yeah, great game. Um, Still not as yeah. uh, re- it wasn't as revolutionary as the first one. The first the first ever Deus Ex, I think probably it's probably twenty five years old now, maybe yeah, more that than was, that. Um, that was Deus Ex on the N. Wasn't there one on the N sixty four? Was it? The, uh, was it the don't, PlayStation two. Might don't be the PlayStation. No, it was, um, it was it was on the PlayStation two. I don't think it would have been on. Yeah, the... I'm thinking of I'm thinking of a different game on the. Um, there was an N sixty four game, but I want Deus Ex. Um, was it? I can't remember now, but um, yeah, I think the it was definitely PlayStation Two, the, the first. That was like year two thousand. Oh, yeah, the like, first one was on t- yeah two thousand. Came on PlayStation Two and Windows. But yeah, I, th- I think I played it on Windows. Um, but it just I, I remember the fact that you could do things in different ways, like you could do th- stealth or. Or all guns blazing, or you could talk your way in through things, and or fight if you found a, a card, you know, a ID card or something, you could get in somewhere. It it just blew my mind that it wasn't a linear game that you could just go, and it was, yeah, it just blew my mind. Even in two thousand, that there was something so freeform. It, it was amazing. Not that, that that didn't come out uh, on this day, but yeah, they're just the modern ones. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah made, my, made nice. me feel old as usual, but you know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like you said, they don't seem they both seem like new games, but see, do you set Human Revolution definitely isn't a new game, and that's like you said, PlayStation well, I, I was, three, three sixty. I was of. still. Uh, when the Human Revolution came out, I was still older than you are now. Oh god! Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> that makes me feel old. <laughs> Two thousand eleven. So, yeah, I was. I would have been thirty-three. So there you go. I'm almost thirty-four. So. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. I thought you were thirty-two. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, so, I'm ta- taking years off you. <laughs> I know. Well, anyway, but yeah, I'm. Uh, so, unfortunately, yeah, uh, we would have been about the same age. Maybe I'm oh, a little bit older. I was the same age as you when yeah, that came out. Just to make you feel a bit better. Then. And then uh, <laughs> when Juice Tex Mankind Divided came out, I was 27. So, oh, oh, yeah. oh yes. 2016. Oh. Blimey. Right. Well, there you go. There's another episode done, I think. 
I know. Yeah, we were going to go on about couch co-ops, but I think looking at the time, maybe we can. Yeah, uh, well, this is an, a, an hour ever. episode. Yeah, that's that me. I can hear my baby in the background crying. So, um, oh dear, she's probably going to want a milk soon. So, um, yeah, I don't want to hold that up. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> I'm sure Pleasure. my partner would be too happy. So, uh, no, All right, it's well, been, uh, good, and I will see you next lovely week. Lovely to I'll speak to you. Know, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with Games of Thrones next week because I would have won- watched the series one finale. I'll let you know how I'm getting on with Toad as well, Captain Toad. Yeah, good old Captain Toad. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, do like a good puzzle game. So maybe I'll have to look that up. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. It's on the uh, Switch. So uh, if you do have access to a Switch, then oh, I shall definitely have a look. Yes. Oh, wow. All the best, Duncan, and I'll yes. see you next week for episode number eight. Excellent. Bye, everybody. Bye. Like and subscribe. Bye. Thank you. Bye.